Well, graviola is another species of fruit tree in the Ananese family, and the Spanish name for it is guanabana. Maybe some of you would recognize it by that name. The French name is corasol. English name is soursop. The Dutch name is sursock. Uh, and the Brazilian name, or Portuguese name, is graviola. And there's a product that, uh, or at least a couple of products, that are just the powdered leaves of graviola and twigs. Now with pawpaw, actually with graviola, I, the name of that is Anona miracata. It's a scientific name, it's Anona miracata. And if you look in the literature, I have isolated, I think, at least 28 compounds from Anona miracata. And we did a big project on the seeds and another big project on the leaves. And so both of them contain acetogenin compounds, but the graviola products only contain the single ring acetogenin compounds. And pawpaw is so powerful because it has the double ring compounds. And we have done structure activity relationships with many, many compounds, well over 50 compounds in this Ananasi class of acetogenin compounds. And the single ring compounds are many times less potent than the double ring compounds. And so graviola doesn't have the powerful compounds. And we did some, some tests at, uh, at the company and demonstrated that uh, uh, the, the other products that are out there were 20, 20 to 50 times less potent that, than the pawpaw product in capsule form. And we did that test. You can, it's a very simple test using brine shrimp for sea monkeys, and you can test the biological potency of materials that way. Actually, that's how we standardized pawpaw to start. We standardize it with the brine shrimp test to make sure that all the lots are similar in their potency and it's consistent from capsule to capsule, bottle to bottle. And it, you don't run into that consistency or that biological standardization with these competing products. There's nobody that standardizes this stuff at all. You just assume that the leaves are potent. They may be collected at the wrong time of year. I'll tell you, if you collect pawpaw leaves in the fall, they're worthless. You know? There's some, there's some uh, flavonoids in there, but actually they start to, to decompose with fungi and stuff attacking them. So uh, the time of collection is extremely important. And we've worked this all out with pawpaw folks. I mean, this is stuff that I did basically to know that in the month of May is when you want to collect the pawpaw twigs. And the twigs are the most logical source of renewable uh, biomass so that we don't have to kill the trees by stripping the bark from trees and getting after that. So, And these tests have not been done with graviola. These seasonal variations tests, the, the, the part of the plant and all that hasn't been really standardized. 